He is a uh, graphics professional and is going to show us how. You don't need these, though, do you? You do once you're done. Ah, so we're going to make this kind of red and blue 3D exactly. image out of a standard 2D image. Now, you've got right. a really good one for this because there's I a foreground on the back. Uh, off the Lab with Leo's Flickr account. That's a, I, I guess that means that uh, Mr. Sean Carruthers took this. That's Dr. Tiki. Dr. Tiki. A tiki bar, and there I and am behind it, him. Perfectly. It, it has multiple 3D levels. You want multiple planes. Planes that you can, you can play with. And what I do to create this is I'm going to create a displacement map in oh, Photoshop. Oh, well, that's easy for you to say. Easy for me to say, easy for me to show you. <laughs> show me. So how, how, how? You, you first select the the individual planes themselves. So okay, I, so I you need to see that there are, what, two or three planes in here? Oh, more like five. Yeah. But well, are we going to take all five? Yep. Okay. I'm going to go quick. So I would his select... His head would be plane one? <laughs> select his head. It can okay. just be rough. Okay. Oh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Yep. Okay. And save it as an alpha channel. Did you d use the uh, pen to make a mask? I, I used the, the lousy old lasso tool. Really? Poly okay. So it really lasso. doesn't have to be that perfect. It, okay. it's, it's really quick and easy. Okay. So uh, there's head is plane one. Body is another plane? Plane two. Plane two. So they don't have to be that far apart. Nope. Okay. But you gotta have to have My arms, of them. plane three. Arms in the camera. And me, Your plane four. Body and now you got some of his cheek in there. Is that gonna cause a problem? Not gonna cause a problem. All right, good. So it really is. Uh, and then the the, uh, the TV behind me. The pillar me, behind you. That's the fifth plane. There's actually a sixth plane, which is the, the control the room behind background. us, but we right. don't care about that. So what I do is I start in a new alpha channel, fill it with. Let me just. Is this a, is an alpha channel just another layer of special kind of layer? Basically? It's a it's a special kind of uh, yeah. It's an image layer. So you create a new kind. layer, but it's an alpha channel. It's layer. an alpha channel. Got it. So I fill each selection going from back to front. So there's an alpha for each mask. For each one. Okay. Sorry. And you go back to front. Back to front. You fill it with. Filling with progressively darker colors. Okay, so a light gray so in the first one. As I go. And, and you, you can just do this by the percentage gray. Right, and you, you gotta kinda map it out before you, before you do it so that you don't run out of darker out colors. Of grays. <laughs> yeah, and everything's black. So you're going in the from front. white to black. Light to black. Okay. And that's So you had five shades there, that's pretty good. Yep. Wait a minute, we got one more for Dr. Tiki. That's Six. it. Okay. Then so there's do a, white, gray, a darker gray. Quick Gaussian blur of ten, all of that. Ten pixels. Ten pixel Gaussian Oop, blur. So we now have we've made basically this kind of weird grayscale image, and that's all in one alpha channel of right. those. Okay. And we use a minimum filter, which expands the 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 light areas, the whiteness. Okay. Gets gets encroached. And you upon. want a ten pixel radius on that also. Ten pixel radius on that. You've got your displacement map. And I'm so glad, too, and I, I just think that's so <laughs> And handy. what a displacement map's going to do yes. is you're going to copy it yes. to your clipboard, okay. create a new document, Photoshop automatically plugs in the, the, the width and height yep, of yep, that, yep. so save it, paste this into the new document, save it out as a .psd file, a Photoshop So we file. now have a 3D Tiki PSD, so it's a completely separate file from our original. Right. Got it. And then you're, the hard part's done. Oh well. Go glad. back to your go back to your RGB image. Okay. If you watch, you click on the red channel. Yeah. Okay. Red channel. Have that selected, and have very select. then yes. you click on the eye icon next okay. to RGB. Okay. So you're looking at all the channels at the same time. But red is selected. Only affecting the red. Okay. Now we go to filter, distort, filter, distort displace. displace, and we only want so to. So displacement map is always a second image that you're using. Right. That's why we created that second image of gray. And based on the, the the tones in it, it'll displace a little okay. bit more, a little bit less. So you're so going to do 20 pixels to the uh, horizontal. And nothing on the vertical. We want to shift it to the side so of it. So you're going to shift the red. I'm getting it now. You're shifting the red 20 pixels to the right. Yep. And I go and off. And we're going to do I, it based on this displacement that we this made. This displacement map I made over here. Ooh. Looks great. Oh, now put on your glasses, ladies and gentlemen. I know glasses. you all, we've managed to send, I think, everyone who watches the show a, a pair of these. Wow, Dr. Tiki's leaping out at me. He is, and you're taking a picture. Wow. Pretty cool. That's just, that's how they do it. That's, that's so how they do it. So they only do a red channel, they don't do a blue channel? The blue and green channels stay where they are. Stay where they are. 
So the so with my right eye, I see the original. Right. And the left eye, I'm 20 pixels to the left. Exactly. And, with the little shift for and, for depth. And 20 pixels just happens to be, I guess, the distance you know that makes my eyes think that I'm looking at something. You can adjust it depending on what your what your photo is, but and and the resolution of it. Play but, with it a little bit. But 20 20's pixels. Pretty... If you go too much, you start to. Go and you know, the it. other thing that's very cool is when people see an image like that, like that. Yes. They know what that is, because we've yeah. kind of all seen these 3D images. So right. you could use this for a graphics design, too. I mean, this would be kind of a fun thing to play so with. So it went, went through pretty fast. I like but, it. But uh, it's all on, on, in the show notes on the livewithleo.com, as well as a second tutorial showing you how to take still pictures by moving the tripod over. To so take real 3D images. To take real 3D images. Ooh, yeah, this is just a simulated Simulated. Hmm. If you, you want to read more, go to thelabwithleo.com. And, of course, Rick is at Mac Merck. Dot com, a great place to uh, commune with other Mac users and to learn things like this. And people confident enough to wear. You made these. Goofy eyewear, yeah. I'm impressed. Oh, you might also want to go on uh, on the Flickr link. We've got that on, on the show notes as well. Where so you can get those images. They've, they've got a whole collection of these sort of images. Oh, very cool. Very oh, cool. On, on Flickr. On Flickr, oh, that's yeah. Neat. All right, more to come in just a bit. The Lab with Leo continues with more of your...